the hydroxyl groups in residues such as serine, threonine and tyrosine, and the thiol group in cysteine can adopt different orientations with different ligands. So here in the rotatable groups tab, we have the option to allow such groups to adopt different orientations when ligands are docked to produce the most favorable interaction. Simply turn on the checkbox to allow rotation of receptor hydroxyl and thiol groups to see a list of available rotatable groups within the grid box. Here you can either check the box to use that particular rotatable group or simply ensure pick groups is turned on and then pick the hydrogen atom of the hydroxyl or thiol in the workspace. Now if you just so happen to be using a receptor from a previously prepared grid file with flexible groups already, you can select to use existing definitions. Now keep in mind that when docking ligands with flexible groups, the time taken is longer than for non-flexible docking calculations. An SP docking job can take twice as long, while an XP docking job can take four times as long. Also note that once you have set up a grid with flexible groups, the flexibility will be used in the docking and cannot be turned off. Also, at the time of making this video, the current release cannot create constraints to flexible groups.